real special people called to be kings and we have the staff in our hands the earth and its riches belong to our god let's go and we claim our land let us walk Lord, honor your word this morning. Amen. Prosper your people. Amen. Please come down into our midst, Lord. Amen. You are even here already. Amen. Give unto everybody, according to their measures of faith, miracles this morning. Amen. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Please be seated. And I think I need you to put your hands together for yourself. Amen. Our 50 days evenings of jubilee praise started on wednesday by the grace of god every day 5 p.m to 6 p.m we are here if you are yet to join please we implore you as from tomorrow evening join today immediately after the service by 10 we wait for 30 minutes to dance before our god so that we may not need to come back in the evening and if you feel you still want to come back in the evening you are going to be the choir you are going to be the instrumentalist. You are going to be the one that will preach and praise God. In fact, God is waiting for you. It is welcome. God will want to give special bonuses to those that will want to come and worship God on their own here by 5 to 6 p.m. But immediately after the service today, we will wait for 30 minutes to observe that worship session. The Lord bless you. And don't forget that as from tomorrow, we will be having our own... Ima Bobo will be on bandstand as from tomorrow till Sunday. This morning... I welcome you to the glorious faith service of our dear ministry. Faith is what a Christian has that will make him to please the Lord. Apostle Peter indeed says that without faith, no man, no man, no matter your status, no matter your wealth, no matter your spirituality, no matter the level of miracles experienced through you and your ministry, Apostle Peter says that no man shall please and shall see the Lord. Faith is a subject that caught across the board in Christian spirituality. This morning, there is a peculiar characteristic of those people that has been granted the grace to possess the gift of faith. One of these characteristics is that they have the ability to become a great friend of the Lord. Abraham, the father of the Israeli nation, became a friend of God because of his strong faith in Yahweh the God of Israel. Today, those that have faith, wherever they may be on the face of the earth, there is no mountain they cannot surmount. There is no problem they cannot solve. There is no situation that overcomes them. Why? Because they have faith. One thing I'd like you to know this morning is that with faith, it is possible for man to fly with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the one that is on duty these days. He is the Almighty. Nothing moves without His permission. Like Abraham moved with Yahweh. The one we are to move with in our dispensation is the one that is called the Holy Spirit, the third person of the Trinity. He is the one that is on duty now. During the ministry of the apostles, after the departure of our Lord Jesus Christ by his resurrection from the dead, He gave a promise. That promise was that he would send the Holy Spirit. And that the Holy Spirit 
will become our comforter. He'll be reminding us things we have heard of before through the gospel. And he'll be telling us those things that are happening in the present. And also the things that will be happening in the future. Brethren, we have a very great heritage. We have a man by our side, though we cannot see him. He can see us. He can feel us. He can talk. We can hear him audibly. He can speak to our hearts. We can perceive his thoughts. And as we carry out his thoughts, we can get results. Results that cannot be denied. Results that the devil cannot stand. One of the results were the miraculous aspect of the Trinity in the life of the apostles. How would you have wondered that an ordinary man like Peter, who did not experience anything called schooling, would stand and would speak, and the Holy Spirit would descend upon the Gentiles? Acts chapter 10. As he was speaking to the household of Cornelius, the Holy Spirit descended upon these Gentiles. Why? Because Peter became the friend of the Lord. The Holy Spirit became the friend of Peter. And Peter can feel him. Peter's word that had been ordinary before now became a word that produces results. As many of us that we want to be at the cutting edge of possibilities all over the globe. I implore you to listen to what the Lord has for you this morning. The theme of this message says that it is flying time with the Holy Spirit. It's flying time with the Holy Spirit. You know, at the airports, after securing your traveling documents, and you get your ticket. After all the airport protocols, you get to sit at the lounge, waiting for the flying time. One important thing is that that you are able to secure your traveling documents and observe all the protocols does not mean that you will really fly. And that brings us to the subject matter of grace and mercy. And I told you, you know, in one of our series here that grace means mercy. I have witnessed instances whereby many a times we get to the international airport to fly, either domestic flight or international flight. They tell you the flying time is 7 p.m. And before you know what is happening, the flight is cancelled. And because of that, some people who miss the crucial appointment they are going for, they will have to retrace their step. Going back home, they can't go again. But why? Because the time is gone. But there is a being that has the power in his hand. He is called the third person of the Trinity, the Holy Spirit. Once he decides in his mind to bring you on board, to fly with him, nothing stops him. I pray for you this morning because you have waited enough at the launch of the Lord. This morning, your flying time has finally come. You will fly to stardom. Amen. You will fly to greatness. Amen. You will fly to prosperity. Amen. You will fly to exceeding greatness and mercy of the Lord. Amen. The Lord loves us. This flying that I'm talking about, you are not going to fly because you have all the credentials to fly. You are going to fly because the Lord has determined 
to bring you on board to fly with him. And the scripture is filled with various examples that God has brought on board to fly with him. You will remember a man in the book of Hebrews chapter 11 verse 5 by name Enoch. This man was the first man that flew with the Holy Spirit. The scripture says that Enoch walked with God and God took him. Why did God take him? God will not want him to taste death like every other human being. So God decided to fly him through the Holy Spirit airways. You will also remember a man called Elijah. A great prophet from the land of Tishbite. Second King 2, 11-13 has the account that it was a shadow of fire that parted himself and Elisha. That was the first time man would see physical aeroplane, a jet-like object. The thing emits fire as Elijah was being taken away. And Elisha saw him and said, My father, my father, my father, my father! You will fly with the Lord. Amen. Flying. These fathers in the faith possess this ability. Our Christian service, our Christian work with the Lord. Miracles of God upon us is yet to be enough. It's yet to be okay. Not until we begin to fly with the Holy Spirit. Time will not permit me to mention a man called Philip. That one did not fly to heaven. The scripture simply uphold that as he was discharging his ministerial duty, he went to a desert road and preached to an eunuch of Ethiopia. And the eunuch says, this is water. What stops me from being baptized? As, they got bat as the man baptized him and they got out of the water, the Holy Spirit away came. And Philip was flown away from his face. Philip was found at another city called Asotos, preaching the gospel. This morning, the Lord is speaking to somebody here. You have been tied down enough. Your season of flying is now. Amen. You will fly above every detractors. Amen. You will fly above every distractions. Amen. You will fly above every reach of your enemy. Amen. In flying, you will fly to greatness in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every of the prophets of the land of Israel did fly. They were able to see what men cannot see. They were able to know what normal man cannot know. And so miracles were happening. If you see any man of God making wave in today's world, God has given him the special ability to fly with the Holy Spirit. They are not doing things on their own accord. They are doing things according to the altitude of the Holy Spirit upon their life. Altitude is that height. You will see a young lady prospering in business. A good Christian. Excuse me. That lady is said to be flying in the Lord. The Holy Spirit have she's doing wonderfully well than every of your of her contemporaries. You will see an ordinary usher in a church. Whom have resumed flying with the Lord. You will be surprised at the level of wealth this usher might have amassed. His business will be prospering. Whatever, in fact, people will be begging him, come and be our representative. Why? Because. He has possessed the special ability of flying with the Holy Spirit. I will never forget Elisha at the level of his prosperity. Farming with the 12th yoke in the city of Israel. The Lord knew that there is a level that prosperity can take you to. 
God also knew that there is another greater level that is possible in the Christian service. So the Holy Spirit decided through Elijah. He said, today I'm going to take a prosperous man from his prosperity and introduce him to the prosperity of God. So as this man was working, a very wealthy man, the prophet of God got there and threw his mantle on his neck. And that was how he followed Elijah. You know the rest of the story. How this man did much more mighty work than Elijah could have done. Elijah was able to carry out 16 miracles in his lifetime. But Elijah was times, Elisha was times two. I decree into your life this morning. A new flight has begun in your life. Amen. Your Christian life will be fruitful in the name of Jesus. Amen. Your financial life will be fruitful in the name of Jesus. Amen. Your family life will be fruitful in the name of Jesus. Amen. You shall no longer be barren because you are flying with the Lord. Amen. It is flying time with the Holy Spirit. Those who want total salvation, it is flying time. Those who want to be empowered of the Lord, it is flying time. Those who want and believe that they can be delivered from every oppression and lies of the devil, I charge you, it is flying time. Those who are still single and they are over the age of marriage, let your mind be at rest, it is flying time. Those of you that thought that you have been eating from hands to mouth, it is flying time. The love of God for you is encompassing. His love is sure. He has promised that he will never desert us. God is a God of love. God is a God of grace. He has never forgotten anyone. One thing I love about this God. You can't fly with him because of your integrity alone. You can't fly with him because of your righteousness alone. You cannot fly with him because you are very prayerful alone. You can only fly with him because of his mercy. Elisha was not praying that day. Elisha was busy working. Elisha was thinking how to increase his talk. Elisha was thinking how to increase his money in the bank. But don't forget that Elisha was of the chosen race. Number one step you need to take to fly with the Lord. Isaiah chapter 40. From verse 28. Let's go read. Has thou not known? Has thou not heard? That the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, increaseth strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. For they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Verse 29 says that he giveth power to the faint. Those that are despair of life. Those that have nowhere to turn to. Those that are taught in their mind that this is the end okay? there can never be a new me again I think from here to the grave they have hung their boots God is saying to you this morning that he is a God that specializes in giving strength to the faint that means you can fly only believe in him Elisha knew that he is a choosing race. Elisha knew that God that blessed Abraham and the blessing of Abraham is upon him. So the prophet Isaiah came back to this word. 
and did say that it is God that giveth power to the faint hearted in a world that is filled with segregation whereby the lower class are always and totally relegated to that class no matter how they try I bet it with you there is no way they are going to they would rather be getting poorer the middle class they have done everything possible to build an edge for themselves they neither increase nor decrease they use a car for five months or one year or one and a half year they sell it add little money buy another one use it for about one and a half year they sell it again they buy another one they are constantly changing that one car they don't have three they don't have four they are not even preparing for it but their level cannot go down neither can it go up that's the middle class there's nothing you can do to break even to that class in this part of the world it is like a robot everybody remains at the level where they are what are you going to say to the rich class they are the one that forms the law they influence those that are in possession of the law they tell them what they want with their money they direct them they are the mafia once they see that you have the power to discover something and that thing everybody needs it they buy you and that thing they study how to do that thing from you and they eliminate you they carry on that thing it becomes their own they give it a trademark I remember the story of a widow this widow went to a bank manager she has an idea of a great business and this widow say I know of a great business sir eh, we can start a cold room business don't worry I know all the terrain I'll be buying and be selling you just supply the money we'll be sharing the money 1460 you own the capital I own the idea the man is still in service do you know that this lady started this business and the lady decided yes sir we have just started this business let me be paying you 100,000 and let me be pay, taking 60,000 we are yet to share anything there's no guarantee there's gain this business can stand on its own you take your capital back we will not be running it with the gain the man said that is good so not too long the man also lost his wife this sister was trying rigorously and the business began to increase 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 until one day this man married so the accountant at the place of work was behaving funny and this lady walked to this man and said sir i need to sack this accountant please could you permit your wife to come and be working since she's an accountant so the lady sacked the former accountant and the new wife took over as the accountant of the company before they know what was happening the lady get to the office one day and say madam this 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 the madam say I am sorry I'm your boss you don't refer to me like that that is where the problem started do you know that they successfully registered that company without the knowledge of this woman and they registered it in their name now they are successive they are successfully sidelined this lady and the man had to call her look if you start anything called fishing business around here you will be in trouble that is the rich class for you they do everything possible if by mistake they get there by mistake they make sure you don't get there they do everything to block you it does happen at times it's not flying first class but they just come and say oh this place is too crowded hey you you go to the first class by sitting at the first class cabin you will eat everything that the first class will be what will be eating these are one of the benefits you are able to look at all the toilets of man 
you see them and you begin to wonder these little little things when you are high there the tallest building you'll be looking at it and say what is this it's as if you should just use the palm of your finger to do what to crush it or to cover it you have the grace to see better than anybody can see that is another benefit you get the clearer view what the mortal man that is standing on the background cannot see you are seeing it number three you appreciate the beauty that the lord have created when god said and behold everything that god created they are they are good it is my prayer this season that as you have listened to this message this morning things that have not been running in your hand before that your work will now begin to prosper yeah. your fellowship with the lord we now begin to produce results. Yeah. Resounding victory shall be your portion over your enemy. Yeah. I prophesy into somebody's life this morning. Wherever you are watching this telecast, your era of flying with the Holy Spirit has started in the name of Jesus. Yeah. I remember one of my mothers in the faith once told me that in the year 2005-2006, she can categorically tell me that she was yet then to fly to anywhere in the world in this nation all she knows is yoruba nation yoruba states abuja whatever they post the husband to that is where she goes to but to enter the plane no but the moment the lord lifted them i doubt if there is any country of the world they have never been to once the husband is flying the wife as well is doing what it's flying. Anywhere the man is going, the woman will go. Five-star hotel, seven-star hotel. Today, they have been so blessed that they just spend one month in Nigeria, spend one month elsewhere, either in Europe, whatever continent they want, they just look at it. This is where we are going to spend the one month. And they go. After the one month, they come back to Nigeria again. They spend some time, they go again. But this is a woman some nine years back. She does not even know what an international passport looks like. Can you rise up this morning as we take these few prayer points? Number one of our prayer point this morning. You will say, Father, grant me the opportunity to fly with you. From this moment, since the race is not for the sweet, Father, grant me the mercy. Let me begin to fly with you. Let me go higher altitude that no man have experienced before in prosperity, in spirituality, in anointing. Can you begin to pray in the name of Jesus? Father, the special grace to fly with you. Father, grant me the grace to fly with you. This morning, Lord, I pray. Father, grant me the special grace. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. The scripture says that sin is a reproach to any nation. Let us pray for Nigeria. That God will grant Nigeria the opportunity to fly with him. I believe that Nigeria can be better. I believe that Nigeria can be the best place in the world. Father, this money, grant our nation the opportunity to fly with the Holy Spirit in righteousness, in holiness. Shall we pray in Jesus' name? Be holding me down. Please break me loose from the shackles of sin and untimely death this morning. Let me begin to fly with you. You can pray the prayer with us wherever you are watching this webcast. Can you begin to pray in Jesus' name? Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray. Whatever sin and untimely death and sickness, whatever the devil might have hold me down, bang me like that woman, Lord. That sacrificial woman. I pray this morning. 
Lord, let your love loose me from the grip of sin. Let me be able to fly with you. Blessed be your name, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we are prayed. I pray for you from wherever you are watching this webcast this morning. May the Lord grant you the grace to fly with the Holy Spirit. May the Lord give you the special privilege to fly with the Holy Spirit. May you begin to walk, to fly in the same multitude with the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. That your walk will fly with the Lord. That your spirituality will fly with the Lord. That your family will resume a new flight with the Lord. You will no longer retrogress in the name of Jesus. Forward ever in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray that you grant this ministry the special grace to fly with you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I pray specially for those that need a miracle this morning. Father, grant them the grace to fly with you. To receive their miracle. To receive their healing. Lord, let the blind see. Lord, let the lame walk. Lord, let the dead receive life. Lord, let those that have been bewitched be set free. Let the oppressed receive their freedom this morning. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Special people called to be 